Thanks for joining us at Right On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the Miami Vice Daytona Spider. It's a Revell model kit number 85-4917. It's been issued and reissued, and it's still widely available. It's a 124 scale kit, and has a level 2 or intermediate builder's rating. Now there are 78 pieces, molded in white, chrome, clear, black vinyl tires and water slide decals. When you're done, the car is about seven and three quarter inches long by three inches wide and two and a quarter inches high with the top up and almost two inches with the top down. It features highly detailed uh, Chevy V8 with dual exhaust and the option to build a convertible top and up or down position. Now for you fans, you know that this was the car that Sonny Crockett and Ricardo Tubbs used for the first three seasons. But the real spoiler is, it's not a Ferrari, as it looks like a Ferrari. It was actually a Corvette frame with a kit car body on it. Here are the contents of this kit. And as you can see, everything's poly bagged separately for the chrome and the glass. And the tires are outside of that, so there shouldn't be any damage no matter how old the kit is. The um, decals, however, are kind of their water slide, but they're, they're minimal. Uh, and um, they're mostly some badging. Now, I want you to remember, please use the uh, safety and use guidelines when you see or hear any of the uh, products that are used here uh, from the manufacturer's uh, recommendations. Construction starts with the engine, and that's the first step. So, assemble the engine halves together. And note that for a competition build, there's a seam line in the oil pan and transmission that you'll want to fill in with some putty and, and sand off. Now the cylinder heads and the intake manifold are glued to the top of the engine assembly in their areas. And once the glue is dry, the uh, engine assembly can be painted Model Master semi-gloss black. And while the engine assembly is drying, the exhaust manifolds are painted with a, a steel color and then glued to the cylinder heads. Now the fan belt is flat black and the pulleys are painted uh, semi-gloss black before this part is glued to the front of the engine assembly. Now the left and right rockers, which are chrome, are then glued to the cylinder heads and the alternator, uh, which is also chrome, glued to the fan belt assembly. But remember, scrape off any plating or paint for that matter to get a good bond when you glue parts together. Spray the chassis and the fender wells, uh, which are molded in, a semi-gloss black on top and bottom. And after that's dry, uh, assemble the engine uh, by gluing it into the engine compartment on the motor mounts provided. Grab these parts out of the kit, and the steering column is painted uh, semi-gloss black, as the wheel well the wheel is also painted a uh, semi-gloss black, but some tester silver for the spokes, and then uh, there's also some decals that will be applied to the interior uh, on the door panels and to the dashboard and the steering wheel. So the shifter then is chrome plated. Now you'll notice that I used um, a tan color for the interior here and the center console is uh, black. You should know that I painted uh, the interior color here uh, according to the box instructions but as I see uh, you know there are some evidence uh, on uh, online pictures of the original vehicle that maybe there was a different paint scheme. So I'm going to let you uh, use your discretion, do some investigation, uh, but I usually do out of the box paint schemes and uh, parts. So that's uh, the way we're going to build this model, but it's up to you if you want to do some research on a more authentic key, uh, scheme for this interior. Get the seat parts out of the kit as well as some decals that are applied to it. Now when I assembled the seat uh, front and backs uh, together there is quite a seam there so I used some green putty uh, to uh, fill that in then sanded it down and smooth the seats and then I painted them insignia white uh, and then finally a tester's uh, flat tan uh, to match the interior. Now there's some decals that get applied to these seat inserts uh, once this is completed. And so, as you can see here, uh, the interior dish uh, is assembled along with the uh, inserts that go, decal inserts that go into the uh, panels and the seats, and she's ready to uh, put together. So, glue the steering wheel to the steering column, and then decal number 9 is applied to the steering wheel horn button there. And decal 1 is cut out and glued with some uh, white glue to the dashboard. Uh, don't dip them in water, just uh, cut them out and apply them with some white glue. 
Now the steering column is then glued to the dashboard and the shifter and the parking brake are glued to the interior tub uh, in their areas and decals 2 and 3 are applied to the door panels. The, uh, the dashboard assembly then is installed into the interior dish and both seats are glued into position. Gather these parts up to assemble the wheels and you'll need the uh, inner wheel, outer wheel, uh, the, the wheel itself of course and the knockoffs and we'll assemble those and the inner wheels are painted a model master I used uh, semi-gloss black and then uh, put those together with a little bit of super glue. Next we're going to assemble the front suspension and add the wheels to that and uh, you simply paint the front suspension semi-gloss black uh, scrape off any glue at the gluing joints and uh, assemble that with uh, I would use some super glue on the suspension and then we're going to snap the tires uh, onto the hubs there uh, for the front suspension and then the whole thing of course is glued to the chassis where you you've uh, established a good bond we'll get the parts out for the rear suspension and it consists of the rear axle assembly uh, spring assembly and the other two tires and both the rear axle assembly and the rear spring are then painted model masters semi gloss black and uh, they're glued together and the tire uh, is snapped onto the rear axle assembly and then the whole assembly is glued to the chassis uh, at its location points. Now the rear spring assembly is glued to the rear axle. Gather up these components, the exhaust, drive shaft, and the tips there, and then uh, we're going to add those to the chassis next. Now the drive shaft is uh, gloss black, semi-gloss black, and and it gets glued to the transmission and the differential. Just kind of bend it a little bit into position and slip it into their location points. The exhaust front is painted uh, aluminum and then glued to the exhaust manifolds in the chassis and then the rear of that is painted aluminum and glued to the uh, exhaust front and the chassis. Now the exhaust tips are glued to the rear of the exhaust uh, pipes there at the back end. So get these under hood parts out of the kit box and uh, we're going back to the engine compartment where the radiator hose, radiator, uh, fan shroud and the air cleaner will be added to the engine and chassis. Now those parts are painted uh, semi-gloss black. In this kit the air cleaner is chrome however the parts uh, uh, get some black stripes and treatments to some of the uh, bends there in it and so the radiator hose is then glued to the radiator and the engine and the air cleaner is uh, attached to the engine assembly. I spray painted the body and the front body pan uh, gloss black and for step 8 the windshield is glued into the body after the uh, paint is dry using some uh, white glue or uh, some clear window cement and this is followed up by gluing the interior assembly into place. Um, locate the gluing position points and then uh, use some slow setting glue uh, and some clamps or some epoxy glue to set the interior into position and then the front body pan is glued to the body. So here is a view of the front uh, body pan, the uh, under valence there, uh, after it's been installed so that you can see its position. Get these parts out of the kit um, and there's uh, door windows however I didn't use them uh, I felt that my convertible had uh, only could, on could only drive around with the windows down especially in Miami. Um, so I didn't use them. Now the left and right signal covers get painted uh, turn signal amber before they're glued into the front fenders uh, with some clear window cement and uh, you can get all these parts ready for assembly. Now the brake master cylinder is glued inside the engine compartment there uh, in front of the driver's position. Remember to scrape off any of that chrome and paint uh, before you glue it into place. Now the front bumper uh, once again scrape off that glue at your gluing points and it gets some detail that gets painted uh, Model Master uh, semi-gloss black before it's glued into the front of the body. So take a look at that uh, and from the box art and you can see uh, that the rubber pads and the bumpers are uh, detailed. There are four tail light bezels that now get glued into the rear of the body there uh, just outside the trunk area and the instructions call for decals to be applied there but I just went and used some uh, turn signal amber and some clear red
to get the same outcome. The uh, red uh, uh, tail lights are on the outsides. So the uh, two tail lights uh, get painted and then uh, glued into position after they're dried with some clear glue uh, or white glue. And the other two tail lights uh, go into the, you know, in the same way. Now the left and right rear bumpers, they also have some bumper pad details that get painted semi-gloss black. And then those are glued into the rear of the body. And the, um, the aluminum license plate uh, area there uh, gets the license plate uh, tag glued to uh, the center of the trunk. It's time now to locate the gluing points uh, for the body and the chassis and uh, do a test fit to see where those are going to uh, be uh, fit together and use some super glue uh, and make sure there's no paint and you're going to uh, spread the sides of the body open a little bit and then kind of just wiggle that down on top of the chassis and glue it into position on the uh, lower assembly. The uh, mirror housings are both sprayed gloss black and then the left and the right mirrors are uh, glued together and then attached to the uh, uh, side doors and then the um, the passenger side mirror is uh, uh, attached in the same way. And so just look at those to make sure that they're even and symmetrically uh, placed on the body. Uh, at this point, if you haven't already, the uh, hood gets painted uh, gloss black and the uh, uh, up top and the convertible boot uh, are painted semi-gloss black. And once those are dry, it's time to uh, install those onto the body. Now this model looks great with the top uh, up or down. So it's up to you. Uh, it's your choice. And if you don't glue the um, up top into position, you can always add the boot to it um, for a convertible look. Um, and just like it was in the days of Miami Vice. There's just a couple finishing touches left. Uh, decal number eight is applied to the center caps of all the rims. Uh, and then number five is applied to the rear quarter panels there, marker lights and decal 6 was used for the license plates on this model. Well, there you have it. This great looking kit brings back a lot of memories from those Miami Vice chase scenes and sneaking up on the rich and famous. I really enjoyed building this kit and I definitely recommend it. it um, it'll go cruising down the streets with the top down this weekend for sure. So, if I were you, I'd buy one and put it on my shelf. Well, we hope you like this premium step-by-step -step model kit review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can find us on Facebook and at our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks!